Hey guys, it's your girl Shan and welcome back to my channel. Now today I have another review and unboxing of my latest pickup and I'm going to show you the finer details but before we do that let me show you what's in the box and I will see you on the other side. So today we have the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green and this was a women's release which I managed to pick up for the retail of £140. Now these were really sought after because they were reminiscent of a certain pair of iconic dunks. They were known as the Heineken dunks and they were given their colourway because of the influence of the Dutch beer company. And this shoe is really really similar in all the colour blocking and the accents of that pair of dunks so i know a lot of people were really excited to be able to pick up something very similar on a jordan one although it's not officially known as the heineken colorway it is the lucky green and it is amazing and if you have seen the dunk heinekens you will know that this looks very very similar so let's start with the finer details we will look at the sole which is just a black Jordan 1 sole and that is offset with a contrasting kind of sail off white midsole. Now that kind of gives it like that vintage look which is quite nice when you have a Jordan 1 and you can see that there is a slight kind of darkening of the white compared to the upper which is in like a, a pure kind of white so that you can see the difference. If we look at the upper then you've got these premium materials and this is the tumbled leather. Now it is quite a dull kind of tumbled leather so you won't see much shine from it which actually for me I feel adds a more premium feel to the shoe. What I do like that Jordan brand have done is they have added a patent swoosh which not only kind of makes it stand out as a women's shoe but also contrasts between the dull leather materials and this kind of kind of patent black on the swoosh, I think works really, really well. So on the back, you've then got the green foxing around the heel and you've got this red accent in the stitching, which is really nice. Again, reminiscent of that Heineken colorway. And these red accents are found on the Wings logo and also on the Nike Air on the tongue. So I really like the little red accents. I do think it adds a little bit of character to the shoe. And if you have seen the Heineken, of course, you will know that how well this colorway works. So on the tongue then, you've got the nylon kind of canvas tongue with the Jordan 1 padding, which you'll become familiar with if you already have a pair of Jordan 1s. And in the box, you get green laces and red laces. You also get the standard black laces, which will already be in the shoe. I've gone for the black laces because you know I don't really do bright colours in my laces. I did want to put some white laces in though. I just felt like it would look really nice with the white panels on the upper. But I didn't have any Jordan 1 laces left in my lace collection that would be long enough for this pair. So um, I've just gone for the black for now so you guys can see what it looks like laced up. Another nice feature which I really want to show you is on the right shoe you get a hang tag which is, again is in that really nice premium leather and it is a nice addition to the shoe. So it's got your just your Nike Air on it which is nice. Another thing that's slightly different about this shoe compared to other Jordan ones and I purposely didn't lace this right shoe so I could show you guys is that these lace parts they come away 
which is similar to how the dunk is if you have picked up a pair of dunks dunk hires you will see the, that you can kind of take away these lace bits almost like their wings which is quite nice so that's a really cool addition to the shoe as well now for me you know that i like shoes that have a little bit extra to them so the fact that you could decide how to lace them up and that they've left these kind of dunk-esque features on the jordan one is really really nice and actually you see this on the uh, off-white jordan ones as well so you can kind of pull this away almost like they are wings on the upper which is so nice and such a surprising addition because i didn't know that they would be on this shoe so i am absolutely loving that feature of the shoe so as for sizing these are a uk four now because i didn't enter this raffle myself and one of my very kind friends entered for me these are half a size too big so um i would normally go for a three and a half in a jordan one so I will need either crease protectors or an insole just to stop the toe box from being completely annihilated because they are slightly too big. Uh, but I'll let you guys know how I get on with those, but they shouldn't be too, uh, too big, but just a little half a size can make a difference in, especially if you're used to wearing a certain fit on your shoes. So I probably will have to put an insole in. The materials and craftsmanship. So as I said, you've got really premium materials on this upper really nice tumbled leather and i will say it's been a long time since i've had a shoe that is made with the quality that i've seen on this pair so really good stitching there's hardly any stitches out of place and there's no literally no glue stains at all which if you've watched my previous videos you will know that especially on the smaller sizes we tend to see a lot more kind of glue stains and kind of really horrible stitching so this is a really good well-made pair of jordan ones so if you are thinking about picking up a pair of these i know in the smaller sizes they are going for quite um a reasonable price on the secondary market and now is probably the time to buy before they do start creeping up in price so if you are considering picking up a pair, these are absolutely gonna be a great addition to your collection. You can never have too many Jordan ones, but I think the finer details on this shoe and the colorway and materials really do make this a great addition to any collection. So do be sure to pick them up if you are in two minds. So I haven't styled these yet because I don't have a fit yet, but once I do, I will be putting these on feet. I think the tumbled leather makes them quite durable for the colder months but I don't have a fit yet, so these are gonna stay in the box until I do. But once I have styled them, you will be able to see photos over on my Instagram, at Shans Got Soul. And also, if you have loved this video, then please do hit the notification bell, like, comment, and subscribe, so you can stay up to date with all of my sneaker reviews. Guys, I'll be back soon. Until next time, peace.